Hello everyone, how's it going? Happy Friday! Time for some more Lego building, and we are going to be continuing the Lion Knight's Castle. I am uh, really looking forward to building some more of this. This is what we got done last time. The kitchen. Is it morbid that the uh, Lego Skellies are your uh, favorite screen there? No, not at all. Howdy, Farron and Lil Bunny. How's it going? And Kijikun and Lord Canis and uh, Lord Smappy. I hope you, you uh, everything is okay with your uh, pupper. Okay, yay for more Lego. Howdy, WPG, PGW Chaos. How's it going? All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the next step right away. And I believe we are down on, like, step 50-something, or page 50-something. Let's get down there. Yeah, here we go. Okay, bag number four. And I think I have a small one. Yep, I got a small one here. And there's the big one. Okay. So let's get started. We got uh, some small bags inside there. Let me put these to the side for the second. Dump that out. Let's see what we got. Yay, kitchen, we can eat ham. Sadly, Lego does not make uh, ham yet. Been playing a lot of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Well. I should have something to uh, talk about with uh, Crescens if he is uh, around. So we've got another uh, trapdoor piece. We've got uh, a large plate. I'm setting these aside because they're large pieces. Got a couple uh, smaller plates. Setting those aside. Got a loot. Uh, the loot is not hidden in a tree. Howdy, Mr. Wolverine. How's it going? Got a goblet, wine bottle, a map. Oh. That is one piece. Interesting. All right, I was not expecting that. Oh, goody. I like these, uh, um angle bricks, the uh, or the slope bricks. Uh, they're one by threes with uh, double slopes. Uh, first came, like I was I was mentioning it last time, first came in the uh, original of uh, that. So it is pretty cool to uh, get some more. But that does also just make it uh, a little bit of a shame that we didn't get those used in that. Sure, this is part of the uh, castle or another. It's part of the castle. I, I've I've been I've been keeping the parts separate, the, the bag separate. I mean, they only ha really have like one map piece. So <laughs> it's not a surprise that they're going to uh, use it. Uh, so this piece, I'm guessing, is going to be the thing where these clips clip into it. And of course, they could then rotate. Um, I thought it was going to be using these pieces in some way, but I guess now that I look at it, it makes sense that it wouldn't. Because um, I guess if it was going to come in there, yeah, it would uh, it would come in there, and that would not work. Okay, they could have done something where it was upside down, but that would get complicated. Howdy, strange to society. How's it going? Let's see. Okay, so we got a forestman to build. So let's go ahead and get him going first. He's got his uh, forestman's outfit with the uh, red. Which, uh, I'm not sure if they have a blue one. If if they don't have a blue one, that is a shame. Oops, I need to get his uh, quiver on. Sometimes these heads are really hard to get off the first time. 
There we go. There's the quiver. Let's slide that in there. There we go. I get his uh, forestman's hat on. Get his feather in. He's got a feather in his cap. We could also, uh, you know, could just be uh, wandering around with his uh, hat of flame. Uh, yes, my hat. It it does indeed double as a uh, candle, as a as a lantern when I need it to. <laughs> it is quite handy. Did I survive the uh, Minecraft stream? I did indeed. A certain traitor did not, though. <laughs> Can he call it macaroni? Ah, uh, probably not. Uh, he's probably not Italian. Is he a Yankee Doodle Dandy? I don't know. He is a little dandy, but I don't know about a Yankee Doodle. Okay. Uh, let's see. Half octagon and a quarter octagon brick. And we'll get a... a si nope. That's not it. Nope. Where, where are you? There you are. Two by four slope, one by two brick, and there's another one of these uh, bricks there. Did I eat another trader? No, no, he he had an accident. Uh, he he fell on my sword. It's it's not my fault. All right, get the uh, wedge plate and another two by four slope. Let's get that on there. <laughs> he fell on my sword ten times. Yeah, he was very clumsy. Very, very clumsy. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. You know. Okay. Uh, I need a one by four. I need a piece to fall on. Got it. Okay, I need a 2x2 two two slope and a 1x2 slope. There we go. Get that on there. Alright, 2x6 two brick. And four by six uh, plate and another one of the uh, green wedges. Is it going to be? Yeah, good. It's the opposite. So we got, we do have opposites for that one. That is good. Do we have opposites for this one? Yes. Yes, good. All right. I, I hate it when you get a, uh, when you get these uh, wedge plates or the bricks and you don't get a, a matching set. Oh, he didn't have that kind of accident, Lil Bunny. He, he had a different one, one that resulted in uh, uh, me getting some leads. You know, like uh, Glen Glengarry Glen Ross, those leads. Another uh, one by two brick. Another one by two brick over here. Okay, and brown one by two with rounded ends. Let me go ahead and set this one aside because it's interesting and unique. Um, there is the uh, one by two uh, plate with the uh, ball joint. Another one by two plate with rounded ends. And flipping this over, we can make another little candle. 
Very little, very short, stubby candle. There we go. Get that on there. Uh, another brick brick. Dark gray, one by four brick. Howdy, not a rogue AI, how's it going? Another one by two slope for right there. One by two, and then uh, the two by two quarter octaga octagonal pieces for there and there. And one by two. One by three, one by three, brick, brick, one by three, and plate one by two with clip on the end and another plate. Uh, other side, we get a dark gray one by six and two one by two. Helps if I grab the uh, dark gray one, not a brown one. Okay, pair of brick bricks. One by three and a corner brick. Uh, one by two with a center clip. Right on the top there. And a uh, one by two by three slope in dark gray. Okay, a pair of half arches. Very nice. Uh, another one by two by three a slope there. So that is, they're leaving this empty, but it's inaccessible, which is okay. be interesting if it wasn't, though. Um, qu uh, quarter octagon. Uh, one by one with side stud and a one by two. You definitely know this castle's not in France. It's not blue. <laughs> I mean, it does have... Uh, you know, your your uh, your Robin Hoodie forestman type. Quarter octagon and a one by four. And gray a two by four. One by three. Corner brick and an angle brick there, and another one by three. Are these men in tights? Um, uh, tight tights, yes. Manly men. All right, we get the open barrel here. And uh, some little seats here. Using the one by two round end pieces, and that is going to be right there. Uh, two by two cylinder for the table. Another pair of uh, round end one by two plates. There we go. Uh, the wine bottle gets to go on the floor for some reason. Don't ask me why. Uh, a bowman could really get some good practice with this target. I mean, it could. Um, this is reminding me a bit of the uh, underground uh, part of uh, Quest for Glory 1. So we can do that. We can put the uh, bow on the wall here. There we go. And... Uh, dark brown 4x4 four four, and 1x1 one one cylinder plate with a hole in the uh, center and a 1x1 one one cylinder tile with a uh, top post. That will make a little bit of a bigger candle. Go ahead and put the flame in there. 
Uh, go ahead and put the map on the table. And we can get the goblet. There we go. Put that there. Slide a sword into the barrel. We're getting Castle of the White Dragon vibes from Serpent Isle, especially with uh, Shimino there fiddling with Iolo's loot. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, dark Gray, 1x4 here. Uh, we do get the uh, half arches out here. Okay, and then another ball joint section right there. Or even just uh, Shimino's Castle, which is just up the road from that. Yep. I wish they'd uh, been able to do more with that whole thing. There's a brick brick and a 1x3 brick. Alright. Corner in gray, 1x3 in gray. 1x6 in dark gray. There we go. Uh, one by one with a uh, side stud. Slide the vine in there, which is very tight. That's certainly something you don't think you've seen, a Lego builds of Ultima Castles. Uh, there is actually someone on my Discord who's been uh, building a few of them. Uh, Calador, I think he goes by Calador... Yeah, Kalidor, uh, you're here. I just saw you. Aren't you the one, or am I thinking of someone else? It's a shame the whole second half of that game was rushed. Yeah. Also, howdy, Fear 025. How's it going? Alright, 1 by 8 and 1 by 4. Yeah, if you have them, uh, if you have uh, them posted up online somewhere, you can you can feel free to link them. There's a pair of two by four bricks. Get the corner brick, another brick brick. The uh, one by th three. That is. I mean, I guess they've put in multiple ones, but that's weird. And now we use this uh, special pair of uh, one by two round end plates with uh, posts between them, right there. All right, one by one with a uh, side clip and a vine and that goes right there. And a second one. Okay, that needs to come out a little bit. There we go. Got a little bit of, uh, well, there goes the sword. Some uh, vines there on the inside. Maybe they were supposed to be roots, although they'd probably be... Uh, Brown, if so. Uh, such a peculiar map. What could all of that this blue represent? Surely no sea is uh, is so large. <laughs> uh, when will Alt build his Minecraft keep in Lego? How do you know that I'm not building my Lego keep in Minecraft? Oh, hey, a Dragon Quest game is starting up. Yeah. All right, more of these double slopes. Love these double slopes. One by four and a, another angled corner piece. Okay, two by four. 
pair of uh, corner plates. One by two with a uh, rod. Another pair of corner plates. And we get the uh, one by ones with tooth projections on them. And to get the uh, the ladder. There we go. Okay, that fits right there. I, I feel like the ladder might be a little bit in the way of the uh, the target. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, just curious, did you get uh, a lot of copyright claims when you posted old Twitch VODs which had various game music for the pre- stream uh, game music generally doesn't get uh, claims it depends on the game of course um, one of the reasons why I use Dragon Quest music is because it doesn't get claims um, but I also don't put up the pre-stream 10 minutes I cut that out I, I kick in the recording uh, like right before I go live usually right after the music has stopped like right before I switch over and start talking kind of thing or right after it depending on what I say. All right. Two one by three in gray. We can use our wedge plate there. There's a one by eight. We get a one by two a plate there. Okay. Uh, brown one by two. Two one by two uh, plates and a one by three plate right there, and then we get our four by six and the uh, trap door section. There we go. Ah, so these are gonna—they're the rests for the uh, trap door when when that gets put on. All right, you're working on Trinsic right now. Okay, and then we can uh, pop those two sections together there. There we go. Get our brick hinge put in there and lock that in. No text, okay. Uh, one by three and one by one with single side stud. There we go. And then all of the uh, wedge plates. There we go. And two. One by two plates and a one by two brick in brown. Okay, so that is wrapping up uh, that step. Yep, on to bag number five. Okay, so we have extra uh, two feathers. Very unusual to get two. I mean, it, it's it's clear that that's what they're doing now with these feathers, probably because they're so small. Uh, one by one cylinder plate in white with a hole in the center stud and a new style sword. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our little section here. So it's a little uh, secret uh, compartment. There's a, a bunch of uh, torches inside there, or candles, I should say. Uh, inside there, some vines, a little uh, table with the uh, map, some seats, the bow, the uh, target that is a little difficult to actually hit. But that is really cool. I like that little uh, section. And let's go ahead and have him sit in here.
strumming away on his uh, on his loot. Maybe I should turn it around a little bit. That might make it easier. Easier to to hide the the back of it for one thing. All right, I'll put his hat on last. Let's get him on the uh, seat. There we go. I'm gonna pop off these plates. That'll make it easier to get the uh, hat on. There we go. Okay. So there we go. He is uh, sitting there playing away on his uh, loot. Oh, there is actually a gap there. Didn't notice that. That's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not very noticeable unless you lift up the, uh, the section. Okay. Oops. No, don't. Don't do that. All right, bag number five. And we need a second small one and a big one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, that's part of the thing. The the, um, the forest men were a big thing for quite a while, uh, a number of years. Uh, a big part of uh, what they were doing with Lego Castle, so it, I'm not at all surprised that they brought that back. So we got the trap door. That'll go there. That to the side. Huh. Rather than uh, two 2x2s two with center studs, we got uh, a 2x4 with two center studs. Very interesting. I think they're typically called jumper plates. So that'd be a 2x4 jumper. Howdy, Bahamut Zero Dragon. How's it going? There we go. Got a little uh, flower piece. Not flower piece. Plant piece. So many dragons. I mean, you know. Dragons of a scale... Um, uh, twitch together? I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there really isn't a, a, a phrase for that. <laughs> Got an axe in here. That's always good. All right. Uh, let's see. One by three. We've got a couple uh, brick bricks. There and there. Need a one by four and a corner brick. That goes there with a little bit of an overhang. That's okay. Uh, brick, brick there. Everywhere a brick, brick. And doing okay? Just a little salty with CK2. That is understandable. That's it's gonna happen. It is definitely possible to get salty with CK2. Howdy, Ab Cody. How's it going? Another brick brick right there. Make sure that this is all. Yeah, there we go. Make sure that it's all on uh, screen. Okay, two. One by two by twos and a dark gray. One by two tile. Let's use this to push it down. There we go. Um, oh, oh my. Okay, quite a few of them. Uh, all right, need another dark gray one by one right there. And we got three here. One, two, and three. And two more. Uh, 
There we go. All right, brick, brick here for the outside. One by three brick right there. Another brick, brick here. Everywhere, brick, brick. Uh, one by three. Brick, brick, and a two one by fours. There we go. Anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. Inverted uh, one by a two by three slope there. One by four and another brick brick. One by three. Two one by threes and a one by four right here. A pair of brick bricks. And where is I need two of the uh, the decorative uh, capitals. There's one. These are pretty nice pieces. I really do like them. They look very very good. But I need another one. Game uh, game Lego. That's yeah. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. And a one by four on the other side. There we go. Okay. Okay, and then we're doing some arrow slits. One by four tiles in dark gray with the uh, one by two, uh, one by one by one and two plates right here. And that's why the uh, tile was at the bottom. They're very narrow, um, and unfortunately, they don't have any slant to them, unlike the ones in the uh, uh, Creator Castle. So they look good on the outside, but they don't look quite as good from the inside. All right, then we uh, put this uh, leaf piece here, like that. And we uh, slide this in. we go. Uh, you can link those uh, in uh, on the Discord if you want, uh, Mr. Wolverine. Uh, one by four and one by three. And that's about it. All right. Okay. And then uh, quite a few of our brick hinges. That is going to go right here. And next one on this side. And I need another one. There's, there they are. There we go. Uh, no, no, the uh, the video channel. Anything for like TV, movies, that kind of thing goes in there. All right, and then we're using the uh, the new one by one by two plate pieces. With a one by two plate on top, I'm putting that right there, and right there. One 
by two corner and a one by four there. So get that on there and get that on here, right there. And then the two one by two plates. And I imagine that there's gonna be a one by two one by one dark gray plate that's gonna go in there. Uh, although I don't see any. So that's interesting. All right, let's flip it around so that we can work on the interior. Right there and there for the uh, nougat tiles. Half tiles here and here. There's a 1x2 tile with center stud right there corner tile, and interestingly enough, we do not put a corner tile here, probably because they do not make it in that color. One by two, and one by two. There we go. Probably going to tile up more of this area in a moment. Indeed we are. Uh, one by three... One by four, corner brick, one by one cylinder. Just looked at the stream title and for some reason thought it said Lion King's Castle rather than Lion Knight's Castle. Well, I have made that mistake myself. I, I have, uh, I mixed up the, uh, the name when I said it a couple times, uh, before. So, you're, you're absolutely not alone there. go, there we go, and there we go. I went from uh, Gundam, original Gundam to uh, Gundam 0080, War in the Pocket. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, that's a thing. It's good to see, like, the, it, like, see things from the civilian side, though. You're also playing SD Gundam Battle Alliance. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, another uh, two by two corner. Two of our one by one by two plates, and that's uh, one by three apart. So there we go. Another half plate there. Interesting that all of the, uh, the the beige ones are half plates. One by two tile, one by two plate. There we go. Your one complaint about uh, the game, it won't let you get the Zaku 2 Kai, so you have so you can have Bernie and Christina together. Aww. Yes. Not the music, uh, uh, not the music channel. Why ever is this entrance being covered? Is Yon Chamber down below meant to be hidden from her ladyship? Ooh. Ooh, I think it is. Uh, one by three and a brick brick. Okay, let's get the uh, trap door. Uh, two by four there, and let's get our uh, grill tiles. Probably supposed to represent uh, uh, like hay on the floor. Um, God, I'm blanking on what the term for that is. I am completely blanking on what the term for that is. Uh, 
Okay, what do we got? Oh, are we making a harpsichord? Alright, one by six in brown. One by one cylinder tile in brown. Two by two in brown. Uh, flip that over for another one by two. Uh, one by two with side studs. And a one by two plate there. Headlight bricks all up along here. And a one by one with side stud as opposed to a headlight brick. Uh, and this gives a, a good demonstration of the uh, uh, of the geometry because there's a little half plate gap there. Uh, but because we used headlight uh, bricks here, we can get it lined up with uh, that one by one there. One by one tile. A one by two tile here. And the piano keys piece. I have no idea when harpsichords were actually invented, so I don't know how uh, historically accurate this is going to be. One by six. Uh, hark! Are those the uh, melodious sounds of a harpsichord? What a modern musical marvel! Okay, and that is going to go... Did I get this on the right spot? Let's see. No, I did not. It has a hole in it. Oh, it goes right on. It goes on the center of the uh, stud there. There we go. Okay. There we go. Just kind of angled into the corner. All right, we have uh, these uh, arches, which are smaller than the other ones. Late 18th century. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little before the time. One could say it's just beyond the time. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. And one by two, a plate there. Okay, and then we get uh, one by one tiles with rounded ends. At least Norton references uh, to a harpsichord dates from 1397 when a jurist in Padua wrote that a certain Herman Pohl claimed to have invented an instrument called the clavicambalum. Uh, and the earliest known representation of a harpsichord is a sculpture. See below in an altarpiece from uh, 1425 uh, from Minden in northwest Germany. Oh, okay. She got it from the doctor. Alright, so it's not quite as old as we uh, thought. Or uh, not quite as young as we thought. All right, next uh, pair of these, we get uh, a, there we go. I mean, no one can shoot out of that uh, arrow slit there. You don't like fighting Saikamu equipped mobile suits? They hurt a lot and can attack from annoying angles. Wow, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that you would uh, hate fighting a Saikamu equipped mobile suit. There's a one by four tile, uh, one by one brick with a one by one cylinder tile representing a uh, uh, a log, and get a one by one by one and two plates. It's for show. This is hardly a defensive keep. I don't know. It's actually pretty defensive. They did a pretty good job with it. Uh, 
And I need a 1x3 brick right there. Anything else? Uh, yes. Another one of these here. And a 1x4. Ah, I'm getting a, uh, a fireplace here. Nice. Okay. 1x4 in black. And a 1x2x2. Two two. Being on the receiving end of an all-range attack sucks. Being on the sending end, on the other hand, is great. Boy, I'm shocked. Howdy, Title Rabbit. How's it going? How are you doing today? We're building a little fireplace here. Um, there it is. And then two of uh, these one by one by one and two plates. And get the two uh, trans orange cones in the back. Nice roaring fire. Also uploaded Trinsic. Okay, I'll take a look at that after uh, after the stream. Thank you. What's to keep people from just walking around to the open back? It closes up. Not a rogue AI. go. And I need a white 2x4. There we go. Nice little uh, fireplace there. Uh, two gray 2x3s. And the mantle of a 1x4 tile. And that just rests on those two uh, plates right there. Interesting. You, like, It can just pop off. Uh, so it's interesting that it, like, it's interesting that they they didn't just put tiles right there and then just put a plate back there. I, I guess they didn't want it plates to rest on plate, big plates to rest on big plates, but still. You also had to fight the turn X. Unsurprisingly, very hard and stressful. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. It's just an X. There we go. And a 1x3 there. Another 1x3 tile right there. Uh, black 2x3 there. Interesting. 2x4. That does stick out a little bit. And 2 by. One, two by two uh, corner. I need a one by one plate with a clip here. I think that's where the axe goes. In case anyone wants to uh, ask people some questions. Uh, brown panel pieces here and here. Okay, we've got a brown staircase. 2x4, 2x3, 1x2 black with clip, and a 1x2 plate. Uh, inverted slope, 1x2 in brown, and a 1x2 plate there. That goes right there, okay? So that matches up there. 1x3 brick there. Brick, brick right there. Okay, the 2x2 uh, two two with side studs and 1x2 plates in gray. And then another corner brick. All right, one by three with two center studs right there, and a round end three by three plate there. Uh, round top one by four bricks there and there. 
So they'd match up with these plates if we had a half plate in there. So if we had a, a, a bracket going up and then a bracket coming down. I'll put the axe here. Another pair of uh, corner bricks here and here. And that looks like it. Yep. Okay, so we got a one by one tile with a wood pattern. Uh, one by one tiles in dark gray, uh, nougat, and beige. A three leaf plant piece, and a one by one gray tile with rounded ends. Okay, I think that's a good time to open some uh, mini figs. All right, let's see. What do we want to start with? Put that aside for the moment. Let's go ahead and get that out. I think we will start with a Muppet fig. Get my pen, get my scissors, and let's go ahead and get a prediction going. Can all guess what is inside the minifig pack? Are minifigs edible? I mean, you can ingest them. I don't think you can digest them. You have many hams to distribute. Awesome. You're going to lose them all in the first bet <laughs> if you try hard enough. Let's take that one out. And uh, I, again, if uh, I get one that I already have, uh, or that I know that I already have, I am not opening it. Uh, I did get an extra Rolf. So we need a Beaker. We need Gonzo. We need a Swedish Chef. And, you know, I was told which one this is, and I literally forgot. Statler or Waldorf? I cannot remember. I don't know why, I just cannot remember. Gonzo tonight. I would be happy with a Gonzo. I am Gonzo for Gonzo. Plus he has a chicken. You put a few hams on no. Oh, boy. All right, 40 seconds remaining. Go ahead and get your uh, get your predictions in. Gonzo was always your favorite. I did like Gonzo as well. Um, I honestly can't remember if there's anyone that I didn't like. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Miss Piggy. Trying to remember if there was anyone that I didn't like on the Muppets. You put all your hams on yes. Ah, but which yes? Ah, 20 seconds. Gasp, heathen. <laughs> Gonzo is the perfect kind of weirdness to fit in with this castle. You know, they'd probably be like, uh, um, oh my god, a monster! Not going to say which yes. Well, unfortunately, Bahamut Zero, uh, I can see. You have a one in front of your, your name. All right. Predictions are closed. Let me go ahead and start. All right. I found the head. I found the head. What, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? This is not helping me much. All right. What else do we have? What else do we have? That's the torso. Is that okay? Uh, Twenty-four seconds. Unfortunately, that's going to be uh, uh, outside number one for a Bahamut Zero Dragon. Um, that guy, whichever one it is, because I can never remember what his name is. But I'm pretty sure that's who I got there. So am I correct? Statler, thank you. I will I will forget for next time. Trust me. Alright, did we get Statler? Or am I wrong? Yeah, alright. I felt that piece. I felt the head too, but that didn't help me much. Alright, choose the prediction. 24 seconds. Oh wow. Oh wow. 20 to 50 seconds. Complete that prediction. 
Let's see. Okay, so there has been some significant, significant ham re redistribution going on. Lel Bunny going from 10 to 772. Solarian going from 50 to 3861. Kijikun also going from 50 to 3861. And Kalidor and Strange 2 Society going from 500 to 38,608. That is, uh, that is some redistribution. I think I know why. Because uh, Tidal Rabbit put in 70,000 on no for some great ham redistribution. Uh, Ab Cody also helped out with 10,000. And uh, Lord Canis helped out with 1,300. Very nice. So much ham redistribution going on. Uh, Preskich had 2,000 on 50 to 60, doing a little redistribution there. And Bahamut Zero Dragon with uh, 1,300 on uh, within 20 seconds. And for some reason, Mr. Wolverine, it seems like it didn't take yours, because uh, it lists it as zero, and I'm not sure why. I, that shouldn't be possible. It should be a minimum of 10. <laughs> so I'm not sure how that worked. Blame it on it uh, being a little borked, maybe. All right. <laughs> yes, everyone who uh, won hams should uh, thank Tidal Rabbit for that uh, delicious ham redistribution. Never use them. We need to work on that. There we go. All right, so this is technically, uh, like, the book, uh, the new book design, uh, but it's also being used for a uh, laptop. Let me get the uh, keyboard on there. There we go. And it's got Scooter on it. We don't get a Scooter minifig, but we do get a uh, Scooter on the computer. Scooter on the pewter. All right. Lego library time? No, not not yet. So let's take a look at his uh, torso. Uh, all right, well, actually, let's turn it so you can actually see all of him. That is... There we go. So he's wearing a suit. You can just barely see the black on the... The black lines on the... Uh, uh, the dark blue, but he does have a a suit design. There you go. If I if I get a little bit reflection, I can you can see the lines. It's very difficult to see. And then on the uh, computer, there's Scooter. So there we go. Let's go ahead and put him right up there. Okay, we have. You. Fantastic. We got one that we hadn't had yet. Excellent. All right, next up. Let us go with a series of 21. All oh, right. Well, it wants that one out since uh, they they got knocked over and, and a couple of them got moved. But uh, that one that one was eager to be uh, open, so we'll just we'll just grab that one. And almost. Okay. Not almost. Definitely spill the uh, bags all over the floor. I will I will get that later. All right. Let's start a prediction. Can all guess what is inside the minifig pack? Go ahead and get your predictions in. Nope, oh, move my pen over there. Uh, so we have not gotten the uh, dog kid and the centaur lady. That's it. That's it. So get your hams in. All right, I'll actually uh, pick some of these up right now because uh, it's easier.
Sadly, these new boxes are not as sturdy as the old uh, ones, which are really sturdy. <laughs> they are really sturdy. All right, we've got a minute to go. Get your predictions in. Can I guess what is inside the minifig pack? We got a minute to go. And I got them all picked up, so it was not as bad as I thought. Howdy, Bats. How's it going? Uh, also, I would I would actually say that uh, um, I bet Scooter will be coming. Like, if they do a Series 2, which I suspect they will. Um, like, they could do, like, Kermit and Miss Piggy from uh, different skits or from the movies or something like that. And they probably wouldn't do, like, Animal and Janice again. Um, probably not Dr. Bunsen and Beaker. And they would probably do uh, other characters like, like Scooter and stuff like that. I would not be surprised about that. They seem to like to do two series at least of some of their, their licensed properties. Then again, it's Disney, so who knows? I mean, like, they've got the license, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Big Bird? Well, I don't know that, that Sesame... Like, they have Sesame Street. They, there is a Sesame Street set. Um, the uh, Some of the figs are very bland, though. It's like... Imagine animal's head, but rather than all the fur, it's just smooth circle, and that's like Elmo. Um, but yeah, there is a Big Bird minifig in that, so they could do a uh, they could do a Sesame Street uh, one. But I think Sesame Street at this point might be a different license. You think a wave two would be Scooter and Doctor Teeth's band, aka Doctor Teeth and the Sax Guy? Oh, they could do that, yeah. Like, the only ones on, on here that I would say a, a Series 2 would definitely have would be Kermit and another Miss Piggy. Like, another Kermit and another Miss Piggy with different outfits, different accessories. Um, Fozzie Bear, I could see it coming back, but maybe Gonzo. But most of the others, I, I, don't, I don't think they'd come back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Howdy, Richie Spaceman. How's it going? All right, we got the prediction in. Because HBO has uh, um, Sesame Street now. All right, let's go. What do we have? It is not Centaur Lady. All right. Uh, seven seconds. I'm going with Dog Kid. Very fast, very fast, but I'm pretty confident. Is it Dog Kid? Maybe Miss Piggy in her uh, Pigs in Space outfit? That could be, yeah. I, I doubt they would do the rest of the skit team. Unless it was uh, uh, the exact lo the, the other ones. So, it's the only one that matters, Centaur Lady. That's definitely what I want out of this the most. But it has really good figs overall. Like, I like the Beachcomber. Um, more dolphins are always nice. The Aztec warrior's great. Beekeeper's fantastic. Uh, I've gotten all the space police guys that I'm going to get. The diva lady is not too bad. All right. Excellent. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I felt the, uh, the helmet. Mask. Thingy. Hat. Whatever. Choose the prediction. All right. That was... How fast was that? So again, seven seconds. So within 20 seconds, complete that prediction. So let's see what we've got. All right, Strange to Society going from 2,000 to 27,870. Kalidor going from 1,000 to 13,935. And Kijikun going from 10 to 139. Very nice. Uh, at 20 to 50, uh, Richie Spaceman, Lel Bunny, and Bahamut Zero Dragon doing some uh, redistribution. Uh, 50 to 60, uh, Preskich and Camivax doing some redistribution. And Ab Cody doing the bulk of the redistribution with 30,000 on no. Lord Canis helping out a bit as well. Very nice.
All the eps they made on uh, HBO are on YouTube for free. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good. That's really good. That was something I was worried about. I don't remember a whole lot about uh, Sesame Street from when I watched it as a kid, but it's it's good. All right, let's see. So here is the uh, little uh, dog kid. He uh, does have shorty le medium legs, actually. And a teal bone. I don't know why it's teal. Oh, it's it's a chew toy. It's not a real bone. It's a it's a it's like a plastic chew toy. There we go. There's the uh, back of the outfit with a little tail. And uh, he's got his tongue out. You can. He's got a mouth open with a uh, with his tongue hanging out as well. No, it's a kid in a it's a kid in a costume. See, if it was a furry, then it wouldn't have his face visible here. It's just a costume. All right. Well, it doesn't want to doesn't want to uh, focus, but. He can hold two chew toys. Oh, yeah. Double chew toy action. I don't know why I literally, like, I've seen this picture every every time we've opened one since I got this, and I've, I've just constantly been looking at it like, why is it that color? Why is it that color? Why is it that color? And only now when I open it am I like, right, it's a rubber chew toy. <laughs> Okay, next up, we did finally get the very, very last fig we needed out of this, the Gladiator. But we can still open some more. Why? Because I have a lot of them. Like, I still have a third set in here, so... Not not like a, like a third of one of these boxes, still. Uh, but it's the whole column, so I'm not sure what the distribution is, is because I'm pretty sure... They're not necessarily in order, but I'm pretty sure that the distribution is the same in each one. Let's get that one out. I'll probably uh, mix it up when I go to put them in. And I'm just going to put them in this box when the time comes. Alright, let's go ahead and start a new prediction. You can all guess what is inside the minifig pack. Start the prediction. All right, go ahead and uh, get your predictions in. Another Egy Egy uh, Egyptian queen would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, but n there's no money involved, Mr. Wolverine. It's not. I, I I would, I would put money on. I would I would bet. I would wager money that your your law does not cover this, but. If you don't want to take the risk, that's fine, too. So go ahead and get your predictions in. Who will we get? Will we get another young Jane Goodall? I, I kind of hope not, actually. So as uh, the, the distribution is that there's three of most of these, there's four of a couple, and there's five of a couple in this set as well. I do not know what the uh, distribution is, though, specifically. I haven't looked that up. So I do not know which ones we've got, which ones we uh, don't have in here. If I get one that I really don't want to open up another of, like the uh, snowboarder, then I will probably skip it and I'll open up a different one. Egyptian Queen, though. that That's one I don't want. Lots of. It's the, this is the only time they've used this hairpiece, too. Trying to think of uh, what else. I think the uh, the Deerstalker uh, they haven't really used. Now, interestingly, um, Lego Ideas uh, a um, what is it? Two twenty one B, B Baker Street uh, set like idea has just made to ten thousand. That's when they put it into the consideration. Um, so they could do that one with the De Deerstalker since they already have the mold. Okay, predictions are in. Let me get my uh, timer up. Or predictions are closed, I should say. All right, and... Wrong button. Go. Okay, that's a big piece right there. What is that? 
Is that? Hmm. Let's isolate that and feel this a little bit more. What is that? It feels like a like a head. Ah, all right. Oh, 2040. It's another gladiator. It's another gladiator. I didn't I didn't get it stopped in time to get the uh, 20 to, to 50, unfortunately. Yep, it's another gladiator. Weird that I, I go for so long without a gladiator, and then I get one. Let's go ahead and choose that prediction. <laughs> There's going to be a good bit of uh, hams gained here, because uh, that was one of the lowest of the uh, the predictions. So let's complete that prediction. And let's check the summary. Oh, wow. Strange to Society, again, getting the bulk, going from 2,000 to uh, 58, 472. Are you over 100k now, for sure, just from, from this? Uh, Bahamut Zero Dragon, 72 to 2105. Solarian going from 50 to 1462. Lel Bunny at 10 to 292. Very nice. Uh, down at within 20 seconds, we get some redistribution from Abcody, Kalidor, and Kijikun. Uh, up at 50 to 60, Preskich doing some redistribution with 50,000. And Lord Canis and Richie Spaceman doing some redistribution at no. Very nice. Very nice. Over 150k. Dang. Dang. Now that is, uh, that is a score. Let's go ahead and get his weapons in his hand. His uh, Gladius. There we go. We got our uh, gladiators fighting it out here. <laughs> How does anyone tell which one is which? Who knows? I should have been slower, yeah. I it, like it, I I was uh less than a second off from uh hitting the uh the stop button. No, I shouldn't have no, I shouldn't have been slower. What do you mean? It is a few retro games, yeah. Alright, Strange Two Society, have a good night. <laughs> you got your winnings and now you're out. <laughs> Too bad there's no opportunities for anyone to uh recover them from you at the moment. All right. Bring our that is that is a uh, kind of hefty actually. All right. So uh, before we move on, so we got our our harp our harpsichord into this uh, little nook back here. Uh, kind of wish that there was they had put a plate on that or something, but eh, whatever. Uh, axe and a little little log for the uh, the fire. Keep the fire burning. Um, got some uh, hay covering the uh, the trap door. Stairs up to whatever is going to be up there. Stairs up going up that way. And let's go ahead and start on bag number six. We do not have a, a number six small bag. So everything is in here. Next time you might join the no club. <laughs> you like the checkered floor look? Yeah, so do I. I. I really like it when they do that. It does end up looking pretty good. Like, I, I honestly think that the, uh, the modular city sets have done a ton for their... Let's move all of these uh, pieces to the side, and that one too. I think it's they. It's really done a ton for their um, 
their actual building techniques. I think they're actually better now for it than they they used to be by a huge margin. Specifically because that like, I I think the people involved have just been kind of given a uh, like a carte blanche to uh, come up with interesting designs and and architectural details and I mean obviously it still needs to get uh, turned into a good uh, a product that can be built and sold and stuff like that, but. Of course, they don't provide any checkers to play with. Got a uh, lion shield there. We got uh, feathers. I could put that in, like, say, I got my uh, my bard here. Get a nice big feather. Of course, it's the same color as his uh, uh, hat. So one of the things that I don't like about this compared to the old one is that the old one had more... Like, it fell more. This one feels like it's really rigid. The old plumes. Man, I love those old plumes. I should pull some of those out. Alright, let's see. And next up, bag number six. So we got uh, two people to, to uh, put together. We got our Lady Knight with her tabard. Uh, that is that is the Lady, not the Knight. It's a good Lady face too. Let's see if I can get this uh, to actually. Let me get both of them partially put together, and we'll I'll show them off. Dark green dress is fantastic. Happy about that. Let's get them uh, focused. We've got our uh, our lady knight and our lady lady. Nope. Camera, don't focus down there. Fool. Focus on the minifigs. Focus on the minifigs. Not those minifigs. Camera, come on, camera. All right. Well, they're 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 smiling. They got bigger smiles. Nah, nah. You got to use uh, two by twos. Two by two round pieces. So we can put the helmet on uh, the lady. But no, she has... Uh, this is a... I think this is a new piece. Um, that's pretty cool. It might have shown up in one of the minifig sets, but I'm not sure. Then we get the, uh, the old style grill helmet on and the uh, plume on top. There we go. Give her a sword and shield. And she can go uh, stab the uh, gladiators. There we go. Got our knight and our lady. Oh, wow. I have not seen one of these. A 1x2 with a single center stud, which... Uh, you know, obviously you could do that with a, a Technic brick and a... Yeah, like... It's basically the same thing, but it won't spin, so... And I should probably pop that out, because that probably isn't going to go in there. Now the question is, how do I pop this out? <laughs> That works. I don't want to bend the uh, the blade. <laughs> I 
gotta, I gotta find a piece that I can get in there. Um, nope. Move a rod around. Maybe I use one of the, uh, one of these. These are a little bit flatter and sturdier. Yeah, that, that should be good. There we go. I don't know, the, the piece might go in there, but I don't want to put it in yet if it doesn't, so. <laughs> it focused on the wrong minifigs, it did. Yeah, it definitely did. Oh, and uh, she gets a, a goblet. There we go. I like the uh, the dark green on her. That is that is lovely. Of course, it does go there. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll do that in a second. Uh, one by uh, one plate, dark gray, and a one by three, and that does indeed go right on top of there for the uh, uh, the arrow slit, and uh, two uh, brick bricks on the sides. Uh, let's see. One by three, one by two plate, and two by two plate. There we go. And, all right, so. And this is a friction half pin, which is very interesting. Those are fairly new. Right there. And we get our arch pieces here. Now the lady can th throw the chew toy for Dog Boy. <laughs> go fetch, kid. Go fetch. Arf. And that is a brick there. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. All right, and we use a one by three with uh, two center studs right there. Same as over there. And get our wedge plates. Where are the others? There we go. Okay, that one goes there. This one goes right there. That does not go there. This one goes there. And this one goes there. Okay, two by two right there. That appears to be it. Yes, that is it. Okay, a two by four plate right in there. And a one by three right here. And then we get uh, a whole bunch of these uh, one by ones with uh, two, uh, one by one by two plates. Man, they are just using these up the wazoo here, which is fine with me. Does mean that I get a lot of them, which I'm always happy about. One by two with clip there. Get a one by one round uh, uh, round top piece there. Two, uh, three brick bricks actually. One there, one there, and one there. Oh, we might actually have an uh, actual parapet here. One by six, one by three, there you are, and a, a brick brick. There we go. Two one by sixes, one right there, one right here. Three one by threes, and I need a one by one dark gray plate 
right there, and that'll go in there. Brick, brick. And one by threes. There we go. Uh, nothing else. Okay, one by four here, and we need... Oh, two more one by fours over here. Yeah, we're getting uh, parapets here. There we go. There we go. There we go. And slide that one in right there. Or crenellations, I should say. Only that has uh, parapets, and this has parapets. Uh, there's no parapet there. And then four brick bricks. There we go. All right, next up. Tis a majestic crenellation atop yon curtain wall. All right. Uh, one, two, and uh, three. One by fours. Knock that whole part off. That's uh, it's fantastic. I love that. That's my favorite thing. At least no parts fell on the floor. Give you guys a good laugh. You know. A uh, pair of the corner round top pieces. Another pair of the corner ones over here. And another pair of the singles here and here. There we go. Okay, next up. One by three, one by three tile right there. And there. And then the uh, angle tile right there. Okay, angle, piece, and corner. You still can't believe how quickly you smoked half the bosses in Dragon Spirit? So, I'm pretty sure it's not designed, the game is not designed for you to uh, not lose your uh, power-ups. So that's, that's the thing. You, you are supposed to lose your power-ups. <laughs> You're absolutely supposed to lose your power-up, so that's, uh, that's what's going on there. Alright, so we get uh, two of our uh, more, uh, two more of the decorated uh, uh, capitals, and we get uh, use a new 1x2, 1x1x2 plates on top. I really love these pieces. I am, again, not complaining. Mind you, I really do have tons of one by one plates, but I actually don't know how many I have in in this new gray. I have a ton in the old gray, the old light gray, old dark gray. There was a well. Let me rephrase: old gray, old dark gray, and old virtually unused light gray. I don't think that they've remade that color. I don't think they've remade it. Uh, they've uh, made it again, like. There, there's an old light gray color that uh, I don't think that has seen the light of day since the, the very first mosaic sets. Very interesting. Okay, and you're gonna... Yep. Alright. Put that there. One by three, and another two-plate piece. And that is just gonna slide right in there. One by six here. A black one by five plate, which I am again happy to get more of. Yeah, I was a little bit of an oops. I was a little bit of an oops. But it all turned out okay. Okay. 
So we got this uh, curved bottom piece. That's pretty cool. Uh, with a gray 2x2 two two plate, 1x2, two two, and another 2x2. Two two. Get that right there. Uh, the 2x4 uh, curved top there for on top of the fireplace. 1x1 one one with center stud, and get the... Uh, yeah, okay. So the round top piece coming out like that rather than turned so the flat part is on top. Which is interesting. A uh, pair of uh, corner panel pieces. Okay, two plates. The new brick with pins, curved end. Then uh, two more plates on top. And the curved bottom piece, and a, another 1x2 plate that gets in there. 1x2 uh, with a single side stud right there, and there we go. All right. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Another... Uh, uh, one by one with five studs, and so they did this so that the uh, the studs aren't resting against anything. They could have done that with uh, one by one uh, Technic bricks, but they didn't. It's okay. It's not a big deal. There we go. Side studs there. One by four. One by four. I'm gonna get probably the one by three there is my guess next. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, long brown uh, plate, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. And that goes right in there as a bit of uh, top of the room decoration. That's pretty nice. All right, one by three here, and the one by 16 brick goes across there. All right, uh, four by six goes right there. The 6x8 goes there. And the two 1x5s go here. Uh, turn it on the side and get a yellow flower piece there. Put that there. So it does turn, like, that turns about the same rate as uh, on a, just a regular st stud. I mean, I guess they wanted the support for the 2x4, the but they didn't really need it. So I'm not sure why they did it this way, rather than just putting another one of those uh, new pieces in. But whatever. I get new pieces. That's fine. I mean, I get, I get pieces. Um, all right. So that's it for that step. We got an extra uh, yellow flower, 1x1 one one plate in uh, dark gray. Uh, feather slash flame piece and a red friction half pin. So put those to the side. Let's go ahead and uh, put the lady of the manor in here. She's probably not the lady of the manor, but our lady knight down here. There we go. Okay. So let's uh, let's see what we got. Uh, there we go. We got our harpsichord and the lady. You can you can focus, camera. I like I like the uh, um, red and blue. I mean the yellow and blue uh, banner up top. That's pretty cool. Um, fireplace is nice. I do like these uh, steps. 
And here we got uh, some interesting designs there above that doorway. Now there's no actual door, which is a shame. I would have liked a door there. But it's okay. Put Dog Boy in with Manor Lady. <laughs> Ah, attack of the gladiators! All right, step number seven. Oh, okay. We are actually putting this aside for the moment. All right, number seven. And I do not have a secondary bag. Okay. Manor maiden with mutt man. That's, uh, that's a thing. I have only gotten these pieces in the, uh, um, I mean, like, like with this part on it, uh, in the, uh, the dots sets. Get that off there. Okay, that can go to the side, that can go to the side. I'm gonna need that one. There we go. Ooh, goody, more bread. That's the important thing, right? More bread? Alright. Let's see. Next up. So, 4 by 12 and a uh, 1 by 3 gray brick here. Uh, get a brick brick and the 2 by 4 with single studs. Jumper tile. And then we uh, put on this green round end tile. Man cannot live by bread alone. N no, you're right. You're right. But uh, he can live well with bread. Bread is delicious. Mmm, bread. I love bread. Bread is great. <laughs> Ah, uh, I have fun. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, two by two corner brick right there. They need pickle stew. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. Bad. You're so fired. Who's being bred? Um, Dragophile apparently. Um, uh, Muttman and Manor Lady, uh, Manor Maiden. Uh, according to uh, Lil Bunny, that's that's my guess. I, I don't know. A ask her. <laughs> Get the uh, yellow one by one cylinder plate bricks in here for some reason. There we go. A little piece of green foliage. Blue at four by six, and we need the corner slope. Angled corner so Who? It's not my fault you're late to the uh, in jokes. Don't look at me. I can't explain everything. I mean, I could, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> yes, send those pickles flying away, far, far away. Cody, that is the appropriate thing. Send them flying into Mount Doom. Fly, you fools! Because, you know, that's, that's what... Pickles are. They're fools. Alright, get some uh, trans one-by-one one, uh, tile slopes for a little bit of uh, water movement. I'm pretty sure that was the impression that you were giving uh, Lel Bunny. I, I I can't I can't take responsibility for this, and I I think you need to. All right, we got our plate hinge and two more of the one by one that are two plate high, two plates high. Uh huh, Lel Bunny. 
You're the one who keeps blaming me for things. I have the right to blame you for things now. Right, medium blue. Curve top pieces there. Blaming alt is never appropriate. No, it's not. I need some people to defend me here. Why does no one ever defend me? This is... This is mean. You guys are all ganging up on me. Alright, on the other side, one by three and another brick brick. Oh, nope. Brick brick goes there. And a 4x6 plate comes in here. And we get uh, two of the round end tile, or uh, two of the quarter cylinder tiles. I still have both of my fenders? Excuse me? I'm confused. This looks like a fine place fine spot to place a millstone of some kind. It could even be powered by yon stream. Yes, indeed. It could even remove people's magic cards. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite, favorite magic cards. I had so much fun with that back in the day. I mean, I do have a car. I, I I do get around. I need to I need to get an electric though. All right, brown uh, two by two a tile in there, and then rounded uh, quarter cylinder two by two corner tiles here on top, and then one by four brown tiles. There we go. Wow, they actually put a large plate on top of another large plate. That is unusual. What, milling about? <laughs> now we know all strats. Yes, you know my strats circa 1997. And prior. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, let's see. That, we get a 1x4. One by three, another brick brick, and two dark gray, two by threes. That is pushed over to the side a bit, interestingly. Another uh, yellow one by one cylinder brick. I don't know why they're yellow. And a piece of foliage. Goes back in time, wins card games against uh, slightly less ancient Ald. Yeah, it actually wasn't that hard to win against me. Uh, I was a terrible deck builder. One of the reasons why I got out of Ma <laughs> Magic the Gathering, actually. Because I was bad at it. I ended up mostly liking it for the card art. Alright, let's see. Another dark gray, a 2x3 there, and two more angled corner pieces, and another pair of yellow 1x1 one one cylinder bricks. Yeah, card arts are like lawn darts, except uh, uh, you throw cars at people. Um, it, it was also banned for uh, similar reasons. Um, although they were a little bit more iffy on, you know, do, do we really need to ban it? Does, is it as dangerous throwing a whole car at people? I don't know. But yeah, ultimately they did, they did ban it. That was really silly, though. 
That's why you got out of it, because you struggle with uh, deck building and anyone you ask for help keeps giving you enough conflicting advice. It just did not help. No, what you need to do is this. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, sir, what, what about you? What do you think? No, oh my god, someone told you that? That is stupid. No, no, you need to do this completely different thing. Go to one by six plates right there. One by three and one by three. One by four and a one by four. Another brick brick. Just another brick brick in the wall. And that is going right there. Yep. All right. Slide this uh, yellow one by one cylinder brick in there. One set had white mana conquistador vampires. Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> the Decepticons loved card arts. <laughs> so you're telling me in regular darts they throw darts at people? No. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that that's what I do. I mean... Mm-mm. A barrel full of bread. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Barrel full of bread. Almost as good as a barrel full of monkeys, but, you know, can't have everything. There it is. There's another brick brick and a one by one cylinder here. And we get our inverse uh, arch pieces there. And now another two plate high brick there. You've had canned bread, huh? You can eat the barrel full of bread. Yeah, yeah, extra fiber. You know, if you need extra fiber, that's that's what you can do. Okay, so we got our uh, uh, 2L uh, bar with stop, and stick that right in the uh, um, 1x2 with uh, pin, uh, with center stud, I should say. Get that right in there for a in very interesting... Uh, uh, window design. One by two, one by two, and one by two. Another one by one cylinder here. One by three. Brick, brick here. And inverted uh, slopes in brown here and here. Don't waste a cask by trying to eat it. But what if you need that fiber? Okay, and there we go. That will go right on there. All right, I missed some... Oh, I see. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, so we also get uh, one by one plates here to on the back... Uh, not plates, uh, tile slopes on the back sides of the ones that we did put down. And I definitely did not put down a green foliage piece somewhere. So let me see. What did I... Also, I really want to put something right there because uh, that is bugging me. That one blue tile. Uh, or... Uh, The one blue uh, um, corner. All right, so we got that one. 
Uh, we've got those two. Yeah, I missed uh, putting these in. The water is leaking in. I know, that's why I want to get rid of it. Okay, I got that one. Okay, I did not get this one. Are there any others? No. All right. Uh, so we have an extra uh, beige one by one uh, corner cylinder tile, uh, 2L bar in black with stop, one by one cylinder plate in gray. Uh, medium green foliage piece, and a one by one towel slope in clear. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get started on bag number eight, and that will wrap us up for the evening, I think. Uh, soon you shall sink in... Uh, soon it shall sink into uh, the swamp, and we shall have to build it anew. How many more bags are there in the castle? Over 20. 24 at least. I have them piled up in the in the back. They they Oh wow. 8 by 8. Uh, and this is set up to uh, be a turntable, which I don't think it's going to do that, but it could. Get those to the side. Uh, just like the this 4x4 cylinder brick and 4x4 cylinder plate could. Uh, do we have mm, drawers? No, we do not have a base for it, so it will not be set up as a uh, as a turntable. All right, so let's see. We got another. Uh, oh. Person to build here. She can be snoozing at her work. Okay. There we go. She does have a smiling face. And, uh,. Pretty good, ha pretty good uh, helmet. I'm, I, I do like these. I don't like the, them as much as the, uh, um, the other ones with the chain coifs, but uh, they are nice. Okay. Ah, good. That is going to get covered up. Okay. So um, we got the uh, container. Slip in the two drawers. One by two uh, brick, uh, plate and one by two with a uh, bent bar. And then get some uh, fence slash torch slash spyglass pieces on. And then there is this uh, nice little uh, two by two container um, it is a brick tall, and you can put a, uh, a tile or a plate on top to, for a lid. Um, and when you do it like this, it looks very much like a regular brick. So you kind of need to do some stuff to make it more obvious if you want. Figure eight, just dump out those Legos, yep. Yeah, and I do it wrong every time, because you're supposed to, like, just, you know, grab it by uh, the bottom and, and shake it like this, you know? I'm always a little bit more careful, though. I don't know, it's weird. Okay. That's it. Yep. There we go. Blue is covered up. Fantastic. I am happy. That makes me happy. Okay, and then um, four by four, take a uh, two by two uh, cylinder plate. 
get our corner quarter cylinder tiles on there. Put a 2x2 two two with a center hole on there as well, and there we go. And we've got a millstone. Okay, red axle going down there. Uh, the gray, con no, brown connector. There we go. One by one and a one by one with side stud. And then the uh, um, angle piece there. Get a one by one with round, uh, one by one with a uh, one by one cylinder plate with a hole in the stud. And get a one by one tile slope. There we go. All right. And that will slide on to that. All right, so basically it's pouring the uh, the grain down onto the uh, the millstone. That's pretty cool. I like that. That looks really nice. All right, Lord Canis, have a good night. Thank you for coming out. I'm going to take the uh, white bag, put it right here on the middle. There we go, for a sack of flour. And take the uh, gear. There we go. Uh, and it's um, basically functions as the old crown gear. Uh, okay, take the uh, eight by eight cylinder plate, four by four cylinder brick. Get that on there. Put the brown uh, two by two uh, quarter cylinder tiles on here. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay. We got uh, 3L uh, Technic axles with stops and dark brown 1x2 um, bricks with Technic axle holes. Get these on there. And then next up, we're gonna do the same thing with one by ones. Except these are regular brown rather than uh, dark brown. Must be just what they had available. And those are going at 45 degree angles. So we can get a uh, wheel with uh, eight things. You can't wait to get this set in a couple of months? Oh, it is so good. It is so nice so far. I am really liking it. I am sure you'll love it as well. There we go. Okay, next up we uh, put the 4x4 four four quarter cylinder tiles on. There we go. Ah, and then we push these in so that they are flat against it. It kind of looks like a, a ship's wheel with them out, but... There we go. So they're only about a single brick uh, width out, sticking out. Uh, and then eight of uh, the 1x2s with 1x2 uh, 
tile slopes on them. Let's just go ahead and make them all. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then these will all go in the same direction. This is a really nice water wheel. Howdy, young Hamrod. How's it going? Uh, the build goes very well. I am definitely enjoying it. All right, two by two and a two by two tile with a uh, no hole, no stud, nothing like that. All right, next up, we have a white half bushing, which I think is uh, new for me. Put it on the very end, a yellow seven length axle. There we go. Slide the um, the gear down. Two by two cylinder plate, and then the uh, uh, octagonal bar plate. Two by two with an uh, octagonal bar. And then what else? Two two by two plates. A working water mill, yeah, and a millstone. That's pretty. It, it, it's really nice. Uh, then the brick. All right. Then we flip it over and push that right in there. The power of this water wheel is immense. It will be uh, perfect to turn the millstone. Okay. Let that just rest right in there. It will wobble a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. I do wish that they had used... Uh, gray or brown or some other color for these, but that, they probably don't make them in another color, so that's part of the problem. Okay. Get the uh, uh, arch over there so that that keeps it locked in place. Two by two brick brick. Uh, or a one by two brick brick, another brick brick here, another brick brick here, one by three, corner brick, one by four, one by three, and a one by four. There we go. And we get a one by two to one by two bracket, one by two uh, tile slope, and a, a two by two slope. There we go. Get that right in here as well. There we go. And a bird's nest. Oh, that's what that is. I was wondering about that. All right, two by four, one by one. Uh, uh, plate. Uh, this is actually, so this is the, the collar of the Winter n Warrior that I think I may have, yeah, I may have taken them all apart. Uh, so we put that on there, get a, uh, white one by one on here to hold that in place. That'll be the egg, and it's a, it's a little bird's nest. That's adorable. That is great. That's a really nice, uh, nice little uh, thing. I'll, I'll zoom in on that in a second. Okay, I need a one by one plate here. There we go. Get 
get these uh, on there. Yeah. N indeed, Ab Cody, indeed. Oh, that'll do it. Okay, that that's cool. Uh, a white half pin, which I don't think I've had before. There we go. Get our brown connector piece here. And yeah, two one by two tiles. And that will go right there. So we still have the white, but at least the uh, the red um, Technic axle is uh, covered up. go. Right. One by six and one by three. Get that in there. We get the uh, one by six archway. Uh, Technic uh, one by four brick there. and then use our last two large plates there. All right, that was a little bit faster than I uh, actually thought it would be. Uh, you know what? I think that I will take these uh, plates off for the moment because uh, I want to be able to show off the, uh, the bird's nest. And what else we got? Because that will be kind of hidden. All right, so um, let's see. We got a, a sack of flour there. We got uh, you can put the grain in here, and it'll come on down. And as this uh, is moved, it'll turn the uh, the wheel and the millstone. So that is very cool, and it's it's. Uh, working. It gets a little tight for some reason on a couple points, but I'm not sure what's going on there. It doesn't matter. It's going to run for a while. Like, it, it would be able to run for a while. And then we got our little bird's nest here. Look at that. That is a great use of that, that collar piece. I love that. That is fantastic. Okay. Uh, extra pieces. We have uh, one by one plates in beige and gray. Um, a nougat one by one uh, tile slope. A nougat uh, angle connector piece thingy. Uh, brown one by one uh, pin connector. A white half bushing. White half pin. And a white one by one cylinder plate. And that is going to be the start of the section with the. Uh, water wheel. Yeah, something causes it to uh, seize up after a, a certain about, but it doesn't matter. And then, of course, that's the front. See, there's this little uh, window here, which is kind of hard to really make out because it's a black on black, but that's pretty cool. Put Statler on the bird's nest. Uh, that comedy act is so bad, I've gone and laid an egg. Okay, well, I think that's going to wrap up our uh, stream for the night. Uh, we got uh, most of this section done. There's going to be more on top, clearly, but uh, that's pretty cool. Then we started this next section. Uh, that is pretty clearly going to connect in here. And I'm sure there's going to be some blue parts coming down here to connect up with that stream so that when you close it, it makes it very clear that uh, that those are connected. And of course, so this being a little pantry off there and right off here, you've got the, uh, um, the millstone to make uh, flour right there at the castle. Uh, so of course, you got to stock some grain for that. 
Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for this stream. I want to thank you guys for coming out. Uh, tons of fun building this. I am... We got a lot left to, to go. Um... Sorry, had to sneeze. I think there's 25 bags. Maybe 26. Yeah, 26, I think. So, uh, we are just about to start uh, bag number 9, so we've got a long ways to go. Uh, probably another uh, 2 to 3 streams at least. So, uh, once again, want to thank you guys for coming out. We will be back tomorrow for more Spelljammer. We will be back on Monday for something new. Uh, we will be back on uh, Wednesday for more uh, retro gaming. We'll be building something completely different on Wednesday night. I haven't decided what yet. And uh, then Friday we'll be back to a Minecraft and a building this. So I want to thank you guys for coming out. And I will see you next time. See you then, everyone.